Have you ever been in a situation where you want to buy, sell or withdraw crypto but unfortunately the crypto that you have isn't up to the minimum trading or withdrawal threshold? If so, this is where FixFloat comes in. FixFloat is a trusted platform since 2018 where you can send, swap and receive crypto of your choice. This is how it works. Let's say you have $3 worth of thrown on your Binance and you want $3 worth of USDT to your KuCoin, you can make use of fixed floats to carry out this transaction. Fixed float acts as a middle exchange that processes the swapping of crypto from one exchange or wallet to another with little to no fee. Kindly note that this video isn't sponsored by fixed float, I just found it to be helpful and I decided to share it with you guys. My name is Mtech, I share tech tips and tricks and also how you can make money online. If you are new here to the channel, welcome. If you are a returning user, welcome back. Do make sure to like this video so that more people will get to digest the information we are about to share. Let's get started. <laughs> Use the link in the description to start your registration process. Setting up your account is pretty basic and you don't need to submit or verify your KYC to start using your account. This is how the interface looks like, highlighting the crypto you are sending and receiving, your destination address and the rate being offered by fixed float, the fixed and the float rate. The main difference is that when you go for the fixed rate, you are getting the exact crypto amount you sent for. However, with float rate exchange rates, you receive more or less of what you sent during blockchain network confirmation. I personally suggest to go for the fixed rate in order to get the fixed amount of what you sent. Kindly know that you can use Trust Wallet, Binance, KuCoin, Metamask, etc. to do this. Let me give you guys a demonstration on how it works. I'm going to use the Tron that I have in my Binance to receive Dodge in my Trust Wallet. Then I'm going to send that Dodge from my Trust Wallet to receive USDT to my KuCoin. So all I have to do now is to write the amount of Tron I want to send to receive the exact value of Dodge to my destination address. Kindly note that the minimum TRX needed to carry out transaction is 21 TRX. I'm sending 40 TRX to receive 46.2. 21 dodge the next step is to paste my dodge wallet address from trust wallet once you have done so select the rates that you want i personally suggest to go for the fixed rate then tap on exchange now an other page will be generated with a wallet address for you to make the transfer kindly make the transfer on time as the order is only valid for 10 minutes all I have to do is to copy the TRX wallet address for me to make the transfer. Kindly note that the network is TRC20. This is where I don't want you to make a mistake. If you are using centralized exchange such as Binance, KuCoin, Bybit, make sure you are aware of the 1 TRX fee. So if you are sending 40 TRX, write 41 TRX as Binance will charge you 1 TRX for the withdrawal. However, if you are making the transfer from a wallet such as Trust Wallet, Metamask, you don't have to add that additional amount needed for the transfer. You should write the exact amount. So I've made the transfer and it's being processed. The transaction is successful and as you can see, I've received my Dodge to my trust wallet. Let me make my final transaction where I swap my Dodge to USDT to be transferred to my KuCoin. Similarly, I'm going to select Dodge and select the USDT network you want. I'm going for the USDT to RC20. All I have to do is to paste my USDT wallet address from KuCoin and the amount of Dodge I'm going to send. So let me copy this Dodge wallet address and make the transfer from my trust wallet. So now on my trust wallet, I'm going to send the exact Dodge amount without adding the network fee. However, if I'm using centralized exchange such as Binance, I'm going to add the network fee. So in this case, I'm just going to write the 46 Dodge without adding the network fee. So the transaction is processed in less than 2 minutes and I have received my USDT on KuCoin and that's pretty much it. Just in case, if you got an issue on your transfer, maybe you sent more or less you are required to. You can contact the customer service by tapping on this icon. Head over to your other history and copy your other ID and submit it to them for them to issue you a refund or process the transaction. And that's pretty much it. If you like this video, do make sure to like and subscribe to be updated whenever I post a new video like this. Subscribe.